Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. Today, I'm going to be talking about the three Redskins minority owners that are trying to sell their stake in the team, and I'm going to be talking about Dan Snyder possibly being forced to sell the team. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content, so let's get right into it. So we're going to first off start off with the minority owners trying to sell a team, and then we're going to get into the big news about Dan Snyder possibly being forced to sell the team. So first off, Pro Football Talk reported this uh, earlier yesterday, but I'll read it right here. FedEx founder Fred Smith, who had privately been lobbying Dan Daniel Snyder to change the Washington name for years, has been trying to sell his piece of the team, but has been unable to find a buyer. So three minority Redskins owners that come up to about 40% of the team's uh, ownership are trying to sell the team. The three guys are Frederick Smith, Robert Rothman, and Dwight Shar. They're all trying to sell their stakes in the team. Like I said, it comes out to about 40% of the franchise, which is a significant, significant uh, portion. The three men have reportedly hired a banking firm to help the search for potential buyers. But according to Florio, they have not had much luck. The trio is not happy being a partner to Redskins majority owner Dan Snyder. So that is significant news because Dan Snyder is not, obviously, he is super, super rich. He is an owner in the NFL. But when it comes to owners, he's not the richest of owners. So he wouldn't be able to buy the whole team. And if no one else is able to buy that share that's missing, it could be a problem. We will see, though. They are not happy with Dan Snyder, which a lot of people don't really work well with him. And that could be a tipping point because it's going to be hard to find people to work with Dan Snyder, especially for, and a lot of people, not a lot of people have enough money to buy 40% of a team's franchise value. The three guys haven't been able to find a buyer, and I don't think they will, especially, especially with all that's going on right now with the Redskins and name change. It's not a good time to sell the team because it's at the lowest of value right now, and it's going to go up later, but it's hard to sell it right now. And yeah, no one's wa uh, no one wants to work with Dan Snyder, and I really don't think Snyder is going, he's not happy about this name change, and I think he's trying to do everything he can to keep it the Washington Redskins, which is possibly why these guys are trying to sell the team and why they're not happy with him, just because of how frustrating it is to work with Dan Snyder. We will see, though. It's This is big news. 40% of the uh, ownership are these three guys. And one of them, uh, Smith, is the CEO and founder of FedEx, one of Washington's largest corporate sponsors. And it's kind of ironic that he asked the Redskins to change their name uh, last weekend and or a few days ago. And now just after that happens, he wants to sell the team. It just shows that it's all about money or not sell the team, sell his uh, shares or stake in the team. It just shows it's all about money for him. He doesn't want to be a part of it. He just wanted to look good. He wanted FedEx to look good. But FedEx does uh, currently holds the naming rights to Washington's home stadium, FedEx Field. Through 2025, the stadium lease expires in 2027. Like I said earlier, FedEx became one of the first major sponsors of the Redskins to publicly place pressure on the franchise to change its names. Other companies such as Nike, uh, Bank America, and Pepsi also did the same thing. So yeah, this is huge news. I do, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to find some someone to buy the shares from them. And if they aren't able to, I really wonder what happens so now on to the big, big news. So, And then we'll talk about some other possible uh, uniform ideas. But earlier today, Mike uh, Wilbon, a really respected source around the NFL, said, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Dan Snyder sells the team. So now let's get into that. So earlier today, I know it was on 1067 The Fan, but that doesn't uh, discredit what Michael Wilbon says. So he said, as the situation surrounding the Redskins can." Uh, continues to lose stability. Michael Wilbon explained that he could see a scenario where Redskins team owner Daniel Snyder sells his controlling interest in the organization. I don't know what Snyder will sell, but or that Snyder will sell, but would I be surprised? No. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all because I don't believe he's going along with this. So pretty much he's saying that he's really frustrated about this whole name uh, change situation. I'll read right here. He said, Wilbon's theory is that Snyder's not actually on board 
with changing the Redskins name. And obviously that's obvious. We all know that Snyder literally said seven years ago in 2013 that the Redskins will never change their name. And he said, you can, you can uh, write that in all caps. Washington and multiple other outlets uh, is imminent for, or a name change is imminent for decades. The team name has been a source of controversy. And last week, the biggest threat to the uh, team name came when the sponsors pulled out. So I think it definitely, definitely could happen with Snyder. But again, I'm probably like 20, 80, 30, 70 on uh, him selling the team. But again, I did make a video on the Redskins possibly changing the name. And this was on uh, Thursday or something. And I said I was 30, 70. I didn't, and that was kind of being uh, a little too generous and it happened no one was thinking it was going to happen and the same thing could happen here i'm saying 25 percent chance it happens i seriously doubt it but with this news about the minority owners trying to sell their part of the team and with them not able to find a buyer and also with his frustration with the um what uh, redskins changing their team name it definitely could happen so uh this is what he says multiple reports show the group wants out but can't find a buyer and there's plenty of speculation about what that could mean for snyder's majority shares and then this is what uh will bond said he said the league will get rid of you the league will throw you out will bond said i can't see that happening but that only happens if snyder says i'm not going along with this so this definitely could happen guys I, but probably not going to happen, but you absolutely never know. Like I said, with the Redskins name change, no one really thought it was going to happen, and then bang, everything happened in the blink of an eye. In like two days, really, everything changed, and now we're at a point where the Redskins name is going to change like 95% chance, even though we don't necessarily like it, it's going to happen. And a couple names, or maybe one name that possibly could be the Red Redskins' new owner if Dan Snyder sells the team, and that's a big if. Could be Jeff Bezos, and because you guys all know he is super, super rich, and he has enough uh, capital to buy the team, so it definitely could happen. There's a lot of other guys that could possibly do it, but we'll see if he actually wants to try to buy a team. But that's a big if. Again, Snyder has to sell the team, and yeah. So here's a couple of... Uh, things concepts i've seen about the redskins i think the red wolves name has gained a lot of traction in the last couple of days it's one of my favorites but i do think the two favorites to be the redskins uh, team name are the red tails and warriors not necessarily favorites uh among fans but what i think will be the team name either the red tails or the warriors i think that's what it's probably going to be because like snyder said earlier or a couple people said sources said he still wants to do some Native American tribute and maybe military. So both those names, Red Tails and Warriors, kind of fit that mold. But my favorite, one of my favorites at least, is probably the Red Wolves. I really like it. There's no Red Wolves or Wolves in the NFL. Just like a lot of these teams' names that we're suggesting, like the Red Hawks, there's already Seahawks, Eagles, Falcons. There's already a lot of birds. But Red Wolves would be pretty good. I do like this uh, helmet. It's actually pretty nice. I think it would look okay, and yeah, let me know what you guys think about Red Wolves. There's obviously Red Tails is one of the favorites. Here's another logo of it. I think it would look pretty good. I honestly think it would be one of the best because it does have some Native American tie, and I don't know this for sure, but someone said there's some military tie to it as well. Here, this person right here said it right here, military connection with an elite helicopter squadron shows strength courage and lo uh, loyalty among natives um defense has a clean nickname wolf pack which is pretty nice and the stadium could be called the wolf den something like that i heard so it looks pretty good i think red wolves could be a good name let me know what you guys think and it would still be you could still do httr hail to the red wolves it does sound a little weird but we might have to make do with it. Let me know what you guys think about everything I said in this video. And I know it's a lot. Again, though, I doubt Snyder sells the uh, team. But you absolutely never know. Because, like I said earlier, the whole Redskins name situation just flew out of control in one or two days. And everything changed. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on post notifications and 
Peace. Stay safe, everybody. Also, guys, real quick, I might be doing a face cam once I hit 3K for live stream. So let me know if you guys would like that. And again, thanks for watching and peace.